This is the story of Hitman in three minutes. Let's begin. Genetically enhanced master assassin Agent 47 breezes through the notoriously difficult International Contract Agency Initiation Trials. Despite demonstrating an uncanny ability to whack bad guys, ICA training director Eric Zoders remains suspicious of Agent 47 after failing to dig up any dirt on his mysterious past, so he designs 47's final trial to be unbeatable. Handler of training Diana <laughs> Burnwood ignores Zoders' mandate requiring 47 face the trial alone. With Diana's help, 47 aces Zoders' unbeatable test. Zoders reluctantly <sighs> accepts Agent 47 into the ICA and assigns Diana as his handler. Over the next 20 years, Agent 47 proves to be one of the most lethal assassins the world has ever known and the most intimidating bald man ever. Victor Novikov, one of the leaders of the international spy ring Iago, exchanges Iago intelligence with the Shadow Client as payment for an assassination. The Shadow Client leaks information revealing the heads of Iago plan to auction the list of MI6 operatives at a fashion event featuring Novikov's label. MI6 hires 47 to eliminate Novikov and fellow Iago ringleader Dalia Margolis in order to prevent the auction. The Shadow Client uses Iago intelligence to track the activity of an ancient organization secretly controlling global affairs known as Providence. The Shadow Client reveals a secret project with the Ether Biotech Corporation to develop a weaponized virus capable of causing death on a massive scale to one of Ether's stockholders. The same stockholder hires 47 to kill the Ether Biotech scientists heading the deadly project and destroy the virus prototype into the lab below one of the scientists' mansions. The Shadow Client tips off the impending government overthrow in Morocco to a construction contractor who hires 47 to kill the leaders of the coup d'etat. 47 methodically disposes of the general and fugitive bank executive behind the squash revolution. While 47 is busy ending lives, the Shadow Client breaks into a Providence vault and steals the top secret contents within. Providence finally realizes someone is orchestrating a series of calculated attacks on the organization. The Shadow Client then targets recluse media tycoon Thomas Cross mm. by exposing the cover-up that exonerated his son, a popular <gasps> indie rocker, after the suspicious murder of his girlfriend. Yikes! You think he did it? The family of Cross's slain lover hires 47 to kill the rocker and the sleazy lawyer who masterminded the cover-up. Agent 47 takes care of business as usual. At his son's funeral, Cross is kidnapped by the Shadow Client's militia. The elder Cross is executed, and the Shadow Client drains billions from his numerous offshore bank accounts. ICA pieces together the Shadow Client's connection to the recent hits carried out by 47. Soders insists they take action. 47 is sent to the top secret anti-Providence camp to eliminate militia leaders. 47 and Diana uncover research revealing Providence is more than a myth and a significant influence on global events. Oh, and they know 47's true identity. Soders is revealed to be a covert <clears throat> agent for Providence. With 47 distracted by Soders, the Shadow Client mm. manages to disappear. The ICA learns Soders intends to deliver a list of ICA <laughs> operatives to Providence while being treated at a secret medical facility. Agent 47 assassinates Soders before he can hand over the operative's information. At the same time, Providence connects the Shadow Client to the attacks. An anonymous member of Providence presents Diana with a proposal for the ICA to take out the Shadow Client. She refuses, but when the mysterious Providence agent offers to disclose the information on 47's past, Diana is intrigued. And that's the story of Hitman in three minutes. If you like this video, don't hesitate to assassinate that like button and subscribe. Let us know in the comments if you want to see Hitman 2 in three minutes this fall. Bye-bye.